Hey, I'm Peter, I love to run and tonight I'm doing a pretty exciting run. I'm running at night with the new, what are you doing? The new, there's a car there, um, DJI Action 5 Pro and I'm excited to be doing this because it's a night run. It's my first, it's not my first night run but it's my, certainly my first night run with this camera which I think looks I'm looking at it on my phone as well looks pretty amazing I did a night run a few weeks ago with a um, older GoPro Hero 9 and it was as a lot of people would know it was terrible so I was very excited that this new release of the DJI had greatly improved the night shots so tonight's my test a full run in all kinds of conditions yeah with it by the way I'm in China I'm in Shenzhen this is a street food area I'm just gonna walk through here quickly and then be on my way I'm gonna go into some bright areas like this um, and then also some pretty dark areas I'm gonna go through a park um, as well and just see what it's like in all the different conditions I've got it on rock steady because I think from a very quick early test last night which I didn't really record um, it did the stabilization was not very good so I looked into the settings a bit more and found that I could do rock steady in 4k in night mode um, but only at 25 frames per second sorry if you're not into the whole camera thing that might be boring <laughs> so anyway I'm now going to cross this road and then turn left this is my second run today actually I can just jump across here I did a run in the daytime my first run with the with this Osmo Action 5 the DJI Osmo Action 5 um, and now I'm trying it at night got a little bit of a shin splint which is weird I never get them anymore huh. I'll keep an eye on that so yeah this is I've never actually shown my neighborhood at night because I haven't had the equipment to do so so this is my area that I live in this guy in the motorbike has to be passed it's a bit crowded here I might jump this little fence I don't know what the stabilization was like then I'm running past my local metro station Shuixiang station it's line 10 it's a fairly recent line that goes to the downtown area yes. a lot of foot traffic tonight okay should hopefully be cleared clear now how is it so far pretty good I think the angles are right too and it's holidays here <coughs> it's a Tuesday it's Chinese National Day um, but as you can see a lot of people still working all of the food of course and everything and lots of things like that it doesn't shut down anywhere near as much on National Day as it does for um, Chinese New Year I just run through the traffic someone cutting hair again there those pop-up um, barbers are pretty common especially at night I'm really excited to be able to do night stuff because here in China it's so the place is so much more alive at night many people in especially in cities like Shenzhen which are very hot they'll kind of stay indoors during the heat of the day and only really come out at night and then stay out it's a it's a one of those places that's kind of more stuff going on at night than in the daytime down another little village area anyway it doesn't matter 
I'll be in the park soon which again should be full of people huge dogs will I make it across? I might if I run oh yeah I'm already running should be able to get across that one and I'll sneak across the other one there's so much traffic I haven't even seen that building getting built yet this is new to me <laughs> gee things get built so quickly around here I knew there was a construction but I haven't been to this area for a while for maybe a, a few months and all of a sudden that's there <laughs> down a hill you can see the screen has got um, GPS data and it should show that I'm going down a hill you see a little white dot I'll point to it on the screen now I'm gonna say the thing of why I'm why I build why I make these uh, videos one of them is I love to run on my treadmill the treadmill is a almost essential item for people who want to run every day in Shenzhen because it's so damn hot and I want to do that I do about 15k a day I'm a 54 year old Australian by the way who's been living here for 10 years Whoop. Whoop. and um, go up here and uh, treadmill running as great as it is it gets very boring very quickly which is pretty easily solved by scenery and the best scenery is not movies and things like that it's um, people running or walking hopefully running just feels better through different parts of the world and I like to do a mix of them sometimes in nature on a beautiful forest trail somewhere and sometimes through cities which is great fun too full of people and things so this is my contribution to that plus if you want to see a place the, the whole tourism aspect um, yeah I can cover a lot of ground pretty quickly running much quicker than walking and cars of course are even faster but cars can't go where I'm going <laughs> I'm going to go straight off this road I can sneak around traffic you know you don't I never get stuck in traffic like I would in a car I never have to park it, anything and I just run straight past into parks exactly like this and so this is called oh, actually I'm not even sure I've been told what the how to pronounce it but it's a it's a small um, district uh, water reservoir and um, they built a parkland around there which is very family focused very family friendly very family focused which is why you see so many kids here how's the vision you can see there's still a lot of LED lights Shenzhen is the I don't know if it is the LED light capital of the world it's certainly the mobile phone capital of the world but anyway there's a lot of electronics of all kinds here including LED lights I'm planning on doing 10k tonight I'll just see how I go I don't really mind if it's a bit less or a bit more what have I done 2k so far yep okay that's right 
Also on the screen, do you see a map? I'm going to put a little arrow on the screen right now. The map has got a little aqua colored arrow that shows where we are. And you can see the, um, yeah, traveling around kind of thing. And there's some pretty other, other things that are very obvious because they're labeled time, distance, things like that. But a couple of them, one of them is heart rate. That shows my heart rate, of course, not yours. But it's a good gauge of how hard I'm trying. If I'm running easily, it should be about 140. If I'm running hard, uh, it'll go up to about, I kind of seem to max out uh, at about 180 these days. I don't really push myself above that. My maximum heart rate at this age, I haven't done a heart rate test for a long time. It's probably about 190. But anyway, back to the camera for a while. I want to get to some places that haven't got as many street lights or, you know, trail lights. Because you can see, like I'm looking at my phone, it's very clear. I haven't really tested it much so far. But a bit deeper in, we'll see that. In fact, should I even go for a little walk up the river here slightly, where I know there's none? What if I do that? I go across here, it's a lot darker. Like, I can barely see the ground now. And if I go in here, it's basically close to pitch black. What's it like there? Yeah, I'm looking at my phone, it's also pitch black, okay. So that's the limit. So it can't create light out of nothing. But when there's a little bit of light, it'll definitely pick that up and make the screen viewable. That's right, that's okay. I can live with that. Although the run I did with the GoPro, there were some areas that, I don't know, maybe there was really very little lighting and maybe it would struggle as well. What's now? Yeah, it's pretty dark here. Okay. But if I turn a flashlight on, I want to see what happens. Let me do that. Right, I've got my torch. I'm going to go for a little walk. I can't see anything now because I'm using my um, my phone's torch. I would imagine that's doing a pretty good job. On the GoPro it was barely helping. <laughs> so, but I won't be able to see that till later. So anyway, let me know in the comments, of course. Okay, back to it. I'll turn that back off. I'm gonna go back into the camera app so I can see again. Yeah, it's dark on the ground there, isn't it? Okay. But you know, LEDs are strange lights. I used to sell them. Um, and a lot of you will know this because LEDs have been around for a while now. They really brightly illuminate where, they, where they're pointing to. But unlike incandescent lights and compact fluoros or fluorescence in general, they don't really reflect sideways very much. Do you know what I mean? So there's really, like here, there's a very sharp light where it's in the where it's in the sort of the direct line of sight of the light but outside that even like, like this shadow here it's still very dark with that shadow the older star lights have got um that will fill that gap more and those those shadows won't be quite as kind of uh, contrasting dark if you know what I mean. That's not to say I don't like LEDs. I think LEDs are awesome. But they still have 
that little weird um what do you asterisks on them <laughs> the temperature now has dropped quite a lot since the middle of today uh, I think the actual temp now is about 28 or 29 and whatever it feels like of about 32 or 33 earlier today it was um, like the music I'm just waiting to go past it earlier today it had a real temp of um, 34 and it feels like I'm about 38 which is you know a lot more to run in how do you like the Chinese music that's that's officially done by the government here and I guess that shows what kind of music the government would like people to listen to but also the demographic of the people who use this because most of the people who use this park are older people um, there's still younger people here but most would be retired and uh, the older generation often with grandkids of course I don't normally hear that music because when I'm running on my own without filming I'll normally have headphones on and I'll listen to um, you know my music and the music that I love to listen to while I'm running is um, music that is in time with my with my feet with my my speed my cadence um, which is about somewhere between 160 and 170 beat, beats per minute there's a lot of music like that a lot of modern music a lot of rock music a lot of rap music just a lot of music in general anything from um, the Beatles um, She Loves You that's a great cadence for running that song through to um, Beastie Boys and Rage Against the Machine and uh, Massive Attack and bands like that Neil Young's got some that are right in that spot and um, same as Lena, Lana Del Rey and others like that check it out if you're a runner it's awesome This is the quietest little corner. Actually, no, no, no. It's the one of the quietest little corners. There's old paths that go in all kinds of directions up hills, and it's a very connected kind of a parkland. I'm just doing the the core um, valley trail, but there's a lot more to this place than this. There's ridge top trails and. Um, steps going up and down everywhere but it's very managed as you can see it's all paved and um, there's no wildlife here which is good in one sense because that means there's no snakes but um, you know the all animals generally stay away from here I like both I like to go on the, the unmanaged dirt trails as well um, but also this is you know nice as well on the right hand side now is where the the lake is but there were, there were some issues with the with the structure of the dam and they drained it they're repairing the the dam wall before they let it refill again so it's kind of empty right now And there was no collapse the dam didn't break i think there was just some 
signs of maintenance needed so they're doing that but it's taking them a long time I've got to say it's been like that for at least a year they've been working on it this is the remote the most remote, remote part I often see young couples in here um, nervously taking their first kiss or or actually just getting it on you know as well it's a private place which is not why I come here I come here to run of course but yeah it's funny when you see that <sighs> all right what's my pace oh yeah it's all right anything around four anything around four minutes 30 per kilometer is pretty good And we've done what about 20 minutes that's me to drop an advertisement <laughs> not a product placement and by the way even though DJI comes from Shenzhen and you'd think they'd give me a deal they didn't I bought it all myself so I'm certainly not endorsing this thing for anything apart from whether I like it or not you know so far so good though I love that it's got a long battery no 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 the advertisement is to ask you guys to if you watch this far uh, please give the video a like please make a comment of anything good or bad it's all good oh Jesus I think there's a big poop there um, and like I say most times um, the best way to help me out if you can is a subscription uh, that can also help you out too because it helps you notify when there's new videos as well okay I think the vision is still pretty good but there is more shadowy places around here isn't there there's usually more people here I guess they're all at home enjoying their national day together this is definitely darker in here and the camera is not as good as I I can see more than I can see through the camera right there so I might even have to digitally enhance part of it like that although there's no real need to I don't think it's you know that crazy it's not dangerous or anything but if you're looking at this video to see if this is the right camera for you for doing night work um, yeah this is pretty much straight out of the box okay and on saying that yeah I won't digitally um, brighten it or anything I'll just keep it as it as it comes out of the camera so a runner what are we up to almost five five now my turnaround point it's not too far away and it does because the path is blocked where they're doing the work on the dam so I do have to double back through the park but once I'm out of the park I'm going to take a different way and show a little bit more of the um, nightlife village area so if you want to see that you know if you're not interested at all of course bye bye <laughs> you can leave of course um, 
But if you're if you've had enough at the park and you just want to see some more of the what's dark here, dark for me too. And you want to see some more of the Chinese nightlife with the street food and things. Um, of course, feel free to jump forward about what would it be about 15 minutes and I'll be out up here and back into um, busy city life dark 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 yeah okay more people Actually, no, I think I've got further to go. I thought this was a turn around here. I've got one more little... Or is it here? I might be wrong, I might be here. I'm confused now. <laughs> no, it is one more. Okay. Huh. Yeah, it's, it's another 300 or 400 meters before I turn around. But I love doing these. Even if nobody else watches them. I actually watch my own while I'm on my treadmill. Um, it's very nice. As Borat would say, very nice. Because um, I can, I've got scenery and it always also brings me back to those places, whether it's in Paris or you know, Beijing or Barcelona or wherever it might be. Or the haunted city in the middle of China, called Chinyang. I must not watch that video. I was disappointed. Anyway, I can still enjoy it. Tell these guys to move. In fact, I might not, I'll just turn me. Just yeah. This is the end of the road. Turn around. Ni hao. Hey, ni hao. You heard me say shishia, that means thank you. And ni hao, you might have guessed, means hello. It directly translates to saying ni means you and how means good. So it's like saying, how you going? You good? That's the most common Chinese way to say hello. The other common one, I'm not going to turn this into a Chinese language lesson, don't worry. But the other common one is um, ni chi fan lama, which is, have you eaten anything yet? <laughs> Or do you want to go out for some dinner? <laughs> Alright. 6k. I've slowed down a little bit, which I don't care about. My shin splint didn't get any worse, but it's still kind of there a little bit. It's all right. I don't think my legs were used to a second run. 
I normally run once a day, but I didn't, which is quite a lot, but I very rarely run twice a day. I don't know whether you can hear the wind. It's a little bit windy. Can you hear that in the trees? It's not bad, it's actually really nice. It's cooling me off a little. Check in the camera again. Oh, lizard. Cute little skink. The dark part. Woo. <laughs> Here's the music line. So other places I'm planning to run with this new camera is uh, Hong Kong. Hong Kong is like an hour away from here. We're right next to Hong Kong. I'm right next to Hong Kong. Um, I want to do at least a couple of runs on the island and also one in Kowloon and New Territories. Uh, I really want to do a run in the very downtown area of Shenzhen. I haven't done that yet. Coming through the huge electronics markets and um, fashion clothing um, cities. <laughs> they're, they're crazy places. And when I've got more time, to go a little bit further to other places like um, other countries in Southeast Asia as well as back to my home town, home country of Melbourne, Australia. One of these days I'll get to the States too. I'd like to do that. I'd like to run there. God, I could just keep talking about that all night. I want to go to Peru. I want to go to Mexico. I want to go to Africa. It goes on and on. What is that, 7K? Yep. One of these days I'm also going to find some time to list the good things that I love about living here and the things that annoy me about living here. And I don't mean that in a, you know, like, um, do some kind of sensationalized negative video just for, you know, views and whatever because most of the stuff, I wouldn't have been living here for 10 years if I, if um, there was a lot more about this place that I liked or loved than what I don't like. But I'll just say a couple of them here, yeah, but I'm gonna think about it a bit more, okay, um, and put it, a, uh, talk about it on another run in a bit more detail. And that is one of the things I love about it 
is um there's always just so much going on it's a very exciting place uh, let's go if you guys seem so close you can travel easily you can travel cheap you can get a good job with good money and you really get looked after how many things was that that, were, that I said I liked I think there was at least three in there so I'll say one thing I don't and I get this a lot when I'm talking to people on things like YouTube and Facebook and they always say oh trying to live in China um, you know that's all great you need to use a VPN blah 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 yeah hope you love your VPN and I don't I hate using a VPN honestly it's a pain it's a pain in the ass but it's a necessary part of life here and one thing that I will say about the VPN is um the government I'm not gonna get political but I'm just saying this is a bit of a could be worse thing the government has got control to just close them down completely because they do do that at times of like um, if there's a big government meeting going on or some kind of sensitive thing happening all the VPNs will be gone nobody can use it but once those times have passed all the VPNs get kind of tolerated again they get turned allowed to be turned back on so that's a little bit of a silver lining it still annoys me I really wish we didn't need to have them at all but at least the um, they do allow them most of the time it's still better than nothing the first two years that I lived here I didn't have a VPN I decided to try to just live without Western Internet and um, yeah it was tough I felt very isolated once I actually got a VPN I could never go back to that so you know even to the point of saying that if the VPNs were gone permanently I don't know whether I could stay in China I actually think it's a it's a big deal okay so that's maybe my biggest thing another off the cuff without any kind of um, real deep thought about it is um, what I like or love about it here is most Chinese people are awesome they're very friendly they're very humble they're very generous everybody any foreigner that lives here or even has just visited here knows all of that they're amazing people his friends my Chinese girlfriend is blows my mind um, and uh, just her family and everything like that it's incredible but I guess the other side of that is um, I said almost all Chinese people are great there's a small percentage and when I say small I mean less than 10 percent probably somewhere like two to five percent of Chinese people are absolute just just ass hats <laughs> just bullies so don't very self-centered just think of themselves at other people's expenses those type that still push in line those type that still insist on smoking where they know they shouldn't because they just don't give a damn about anybody else so and I'll finish on one more thing I'm not going to keep you you know I want to think about these more um, one more thing I've mentioned how close it is to everything but it does really feel I want to just expand on that a little bit um, let 
Melbourne in Australia is nice, but it's a long way from anywhere, unless you want to go to New Zealand or Tasmania, <laughs> or Adelaide. But apart from those places, and those places are nice, but getting anywhere else in the world is, um, you're like 10 hours flight before you get somewhere like here, before you can then go to anywhere else. And when you're here, the world's just so much more open, travel-wise, and accessible, and um, cheap to access. I love that. It really feels like living in the center of the world. So yeah. But like I said, I'll do a better one when I've had more of a think about it. I'm almost out of the park. Got about one more kilometer. I'm going up the last kind of hill. So I'm gonna stop talking while I do that hill. Here it is. Oh no, I'm not gonna try to sprint up the hill. See the top. Oh. Okay. Oh. Made it. What's that? Eight K? Nine K? All right. This is a McDonald's, just a McDonald's caravan for the daytime for the kids. It only serves ice creams and drinks. There's other parks. I don't know whether there's any like this near you where you are in the world, but there's a KFC in a park. It's not this one, and it's got a robot that serves you. You um. You make your order on your phone and while you're making your order it knows exactly where you are because you have your location turned on and then you pay for it and it makes the meal and the robot comes and delivers it right to that spot where you made the order where you're having a picnic or whatever you might be doing like i said you might have that near where you are as well but um, yeah, it's a pretty cool technology wherever it's happening in the world. And you might think, oh, that's too easy for people to steal that. And that might be true in some places, but there's no theft here. It's very, very rare, if at all. I've um, accidentally left my wallet and things on places and people will come running after you to give it to you. Not that I use a wallet anymore. We don't really, 
It's all electronic money now. <sighs> Although I have been pickpocketed when I first came to China. In a nightclub though, I was drunk. I should have been more aware of it. So, you know, there's still dishonest people here. They're just... In, um, not in open public areas like this. Ching Rang Isha, thank you. Whew. Back into the village. There's a very good bike shop here. They sell, if you know bikes, bicycles, I mean, they sell not just giants and readers, but also specialized in uh, Pinarellos and things like that. I don't think they've got brands like um, Santa Cruz's and things like that. I think they're still not really in China, but a lot of the big, expensive global brands are here. I've got a, myself personally, I've got a specialized mountain bike, which I love, and I've got a Merida road bike, which I left in Australia. I generally don't ride a road bike here. But Cece and I did buy a mid tandem bike. <laughs> a big, heavy clunker, but it's great fun. And it means we can stay together because she's not confident on a bike, and she's very slow on a bike. And the tandem obviously makes us stay together in a very fun way. Ah, down the hill. I'm going to go across this busy road, which I don't think is busy right now. Yeah, it is. I can't see it. I think I can get across. It's still flashing green. Yep, I'm lucky. And I'm going to go. You can. And I'm going to go into a very built up, dense, um, old school 1990s China area on the right hand side here. When I first came to China, when I had no money, <laughs> um, I lived in an area like this. They're fun. I wouldn't want to do. I wouldn't want to live there forever. But when you're first experiencing a country like this, it is a good way to really connect with the, you know, the real culture of the place. Because there's nothing more genuinely China than these urban village areas like this. Should I walk through a shop? Maybe, maybe I, I couldn't, I wouldn't mind buying a drink anyway. I'll get a drink. This is a typical, like a Chinese convenience store. They'll have all of the milk barry stuff. And then obviously some basic toiletries and buckets and some electrical repair stuff as well as umbrellas and super heavy alcohol. <laughs> But I'm not getting that. I'll get a sports drink, I think. These prices here are crazy as well. Cheap. Like a Coke. That Coke is three kwai. Three kwai is less than 50 cents US. Okay, it's just... <laughs> Seriously, it is. Beers here are like one dollar US. And you can just walk them out and drink them on the street. Although, interestingly, only foreigners seem to do that. Local pe Chinese people never really... Um, all the smokes are uh, Local Chinese people never really drink while they're walking. They always are in a bar or something. Ni hao. Is that her? Yeah. She's serving outside. Wan Shang hao. Bye bye. 
All right. So this was, this is a Chinese sports drink. They're just like a Gatorade or whatever. They're good. Uh, and it was five kwai, which is about 70 or 80 cents US. And Shenzhen's a weird place in China because it's a boom town. And not many people in Shenzhen have got families that are from Shenzhen. Most of them migrated here from other parts of China and they brought their food with them. So there's a lot of people here from Hunan, like central China. So you'll see food from all different provinces. It's got them a, a huge variety. Other cities have got variety as well, but not to the same extent. That's like a um, um, hot and spicy uh, noodle soup. There'll be some food here from Wuhan. It's called Rogan Mian, which I love. Um, and just, yeah, Sichuan, Hop Heart, Yunnan. Um, it's, 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 uh, I'll do a whole thing on it one day, but yeah, it just shows how much there is here. And you can see at night all the tables come out and people get out of the restaurants and sit out onto these, these streets, have a beer now, and um, have their barbecue and uh, things like that. oysters and I very rarely get sick here if I go to places like India or Vietnam I always seem to get street food sickness I love that bread too um, but it's I have been sick here before but in 10 years it's almost never it's really it's surprising <laughs> I think the water quality here is just a bit more controlled. I think the water quality, I think the water boards here have got more um, high quality water, you know, uh, decontamination, things like that. I honestly think that that's where most of the bugs come from when you get Bali Bali or Delhi Bali or any of those sort of things. Oh, Nepal. My God, I got sick in Nepal once. Am I running again? Just going to put my phone in my back pocket. Wait a second. And I don't normally stop and walk while I'm running. I'm a bit of a... Uh, serious usually too serious for my own good running my friends will tell you but um seeing as this is more of a testing run and a showing the area you know kind of a run it won't hurt well, the little dark street oh, burping now Far have I gone? Oh, almost 11. Okay, so it'll be about 12 ish by the time I get back. That's all right. So that'll bring my daily total to about 20. I'm going to go down here. Past a, a um, local supermarket. Not a big supermarket, very average run, but it's pretty good. I'm not going to go into this one. I'll go up these stairs, across the road, and then home from there. Anyhow, okay. I like that fruit shop. I often buy bananas from her. Now up these stairs, I'm more kind of mm, slightly more expensive restaurants but it's still not high-end food the high-end food around here 
is in Cloud Park, which I, I ran through that earlier today. They got some very good Beijing duck restaurants and things like that in there. Although there's one here too. One of these has got Beijing duck. I love Beijing duck. If you ever had it, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you haven't had it, then you should have it. Cece and I are going to go for a beer later when I finish this and have a shower. I'm going to just wait. Let's go down here. There's a funny cafe. If you're Australian, like me, you'll laugh at this. This is one of the best coffee cafes, daytime cafes in this area. And you can see the name Root. Root Cafe and Dessert. So if you want a root, that's the way to head. And there's another one near here, which is called Bang Coffee. <laughs> no, I'm not going to explain them, and I don't need to. I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. But they're completely innocently named around here. Bang Coffee's just over the road there. But bang in Chinese actually means uh, like excellent. That's the, that's the Chinese meaning. It is a word in Chinese, it's bang. And if you say hen bang, that means you're very excellent. Oh. Nearly back. my hill which I might turn left up here and show you the main entrance of my apartment area at night with all the lights on it's pretty crazy I'll do a um, sweep around there because these are these are very high rise building I'm sure you can see them but there's one spot here which is just a bit nuts in a good way I think actually there's two real good crazy looks for it I'll go down the bottom here I'll show you one of them I'll go down past these shops oh yeah I was here earlier but not at night Hello. He said hello. Okay. So this spot here, looking down this road. There, although there's not as many lights, it's probably better at kind of just dusk. Because that all that whole area there looks um pretty crazy, you know. Um built up kind of a future city kind of way and I'll go up here again now and on the steps of mine this is my uh, this is the entrance to my apartment complex here Kaiser 3 and if I turn around up here, and I, I th it might be the same, but it might be too late at night. A lot of the lights are probably turned off already. But um, yeah, you can, now you can see it, don't you? Especially with the Chinese flag there as well. It still blows me away. That view. All right, home time.
Unfortunately, our garden here has got a lake for just looking at an ornamental lake rather than a swimming pool. A lot of these places have got a, a swimming pool that's part of the deal of living Yeah, I wish I had had that. But it doesn't. And I'm home. I'm just going to hit the 12k, alright? Bear with me while I just do another 50 meters. And it's a great time for me to say thank you very much. If you made it this far, I appreciate it more than you can possibly dream. No exaggeration. And, um, and once again, if you didn't get a chance to hit the, um, the like or the subscribe, please um, do that now if you could. That would be fantastic. And um, equally, any feedback? Did you like it? Um, is there anything you'd like to see more? Would you like to see me talk more? Would you like to see me shut up and talk less? Just let me know, okay? Um, all of that is really helpful. Like I said, I'm doing this for me, but I also want to do it in a way that kind of, you know, helps people as well, helps people see cities, especially in China, because you don't see a lot of this kind of thing, you know, in the media and things. I know there are more foreigners living here that are doing more videos saying what it's really like here, but this is, my spin on it is that I'm the only one kind of running while doing it. I'm not, and I'm doing that because I love running. <laughs> okay. All right, so yeah, thanks again. See you in the next one. It might be the Hong Kong one. It might be, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know, where do you want to go? Would you, actually, I'd, Wuhan would be pretty cool, wouldn't it too? I'd, um, I could easily go to Wuhan. All right, I'm done. Turn it off, see ya.